Hey guys, how's it going? So today is Saturday and I'm sitting in the living room waiting for Carly to come down. You may recognize my backdrop because I just finished the vlog from yesterday because no one ever ended the video. But yeah, everyone else is gone except Carly. Blake had stayed the night at a friend's house last night and he hasn't come home yet. He went to like a community ed basketball game with some friends and then Andrew went to go do some painting at his dad's house and Ken and Andrew are gone um, at Celine High School for Chase's uh, wrestling tournament. Yeah, so I'm waiting, waiting for Carly. She said she was watching some sort of video or something and then we were getting ready to leave to go get a bite to eat. She wants to get something and bring it home. I wanna go somewhere and just sit down and eat. We actually cooked a lot at home this week, which was great. So I am actually looking to just go have a meal somewhere else. So I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do yet, but I did wanna tell you guys about these. We didn't get any Girl Scout cookies this year, which is probably the first time in a long time because we just don't need them. Ken's doing the Adkins diet and um, you know, no carbs or whatever. He just eats a lot of protein, a lot of meat, which to me, I don't like eating a lot of meat. So I feel like we're completely eating opposite things here lately. But um, I gotta have my chocolate, you guys. This is my worst thing as a human being and here's the thing I don't drink I don't smoke I don't do drugs I'm a pretty good person other than the fact that I gotta have my chocolate and it's not every day but when I get that sweet tooth I like chocolate some people like to have like gum or you know like candy or whatever I just have to have a little taste of chocolate and these things are just so good these are the mint ones, but they make just like regular plain fudge dip ones. But the mint ones kind of remind me a little bit of the Girl Scout cookies, just a little. But I actually think they're better than the Girl Scout cookies. But yeah, so I just had to share that little tidbit of information while I sit here and wait for Carly to finally come downstairs so we can leave. It's like I feel like I'm waiting for a princess all the time. I'm just the person sitting here waiting, waiting, waiting. It's already like... Four o'clock and we probably should have left hours ago because neither one of us has had lunch today. So I guess we're now going out for dinner. <laughs> so me and my mom just ordered food from, where am I allowed to say the place? Like a bar and grill restaurant. A bar and grill restaurant, but we stopped at McDonald's to get something to drink since we got like takeout at the other place. And for the first time I've asked my mom to do this, she got Sasser a small fry. So we're gonna feed her fries on camera. <laughs> I didn't get her fries so she could eat them on camera. Well, that's what we're doing. You're so weird. Okay, she knows you got her food. You want french fries? Do you want some french fries, Sasser? Do you want some fries? Look at how pretty she looks on camera. Off camera guys, she's not cute at all. Okay guys, so we just got our fries. First, I'm gonna eat them to make sure they are okay. <laughs> you just ordered chicken, why would you need some fries? We're good. Now I can check if they're still hot. <laughs> Hold on eaters, you're gonna get some fries. Ready to take a nice. You see her? Take it nice. That's not nice. Well, I told Carly that I would go to the carryout and get us something to drink, and she's like, "No, I want McDonald's pop <laughs> and get and get." Um, uh oh. This ain't good. Who's what? over? Hold on. Ow. I don't know who this is. Give me your phone. My rifle. I'm gonna call your dad. Oh, he's there. Who's this guy at the door? Hello? Who's this guy at the door? Oh, I have no idea. All right, he's leaving, but I'm not home, so. All right. You don't know? I don't know who it is. Okay. All right. Hi. Well, this is what happens when you got a security system. Even when you're not home, you know who's there. Or you know if someone's there. He probably saw the camera. 
No, he never looked up at the cameras. So we decided to order food and take it home. So look who won that battle. I told him I wanted to go eat somewhere and you wanted to order carry out. And look who wins. You just think you're just, I already called you a princess earlier. Two against one. Tori wanted to come. <laughs> oh, so it's her fault? Yeah. Who do you think's more spoiled? Me or Tori? See her? Miney, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If he howlers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You are not no. it, you silly old ugly goose. You. Not you. You. <laughs> Alright, so Ken and Chase are home. We're gonna do a little game. We seen this all over, what was it on Instagram or Twitter or something like that? I think it was on Twitter originally. So the challenge is, if you haven't heard of it, is supposedly only golden retrievers, when you put an egg in their mouth, they won't crack it because their mouths are, what you say? Their mouths are gentle and I don't believe it. I think our dogs so, are too little, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know. So the we're golden gonna... retriever and Pippa. What's the difference? A dog's mouth is a dog's mouth. They're about a fraction of the size. Pippa. Look at your mouth. Can Come here, Pippa. Pippa's mouth. Do you think you can pass the egg challenge? See? Oh, she's telling. She, she just said. Ask her again. Can you pass the egg challenge? Come here, Pippa. What? Tell me. Do you want to Shaggy, do it? Oh, Shaggy's trying to get Do you want to do the egg challenge? Peepers. Do you want to do it? What? Look at you. Ah! Yeah. Okay. We got to come over here off the carpet because I'm not cleaning egg off the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> get away. <laughs> All right, go away. All right, we gotta take. To we gotta do the put the dogs in the we're other room. Dog. We're gonna test this out with Tori first. So here, Tori. I don't even know if she can get it all in her mouth. <laughs> She's licking it. Here. Do you have to open it now? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay, next contestant. All right, Tori failed because her mouth is too little. Chase is over there eating Fruit Loops. Are you watching our experiment? I don't know. All right, Daisy, sit. All right, let's see if Daisy will take it. Here, Beckett's. Here, it's an egg. It's good for you. Here. All right, she won't take it either. Fail. He's not gonna put it in. He will. Take the egg, Shaggy. Look. Look. Get it. Take it. He just wants to sit and look at it. <laughs> he won't do it. He Here, wants to. Why he... do golden retrievers eat the egg? But... They have gentle mouths. Here, Shaggy, come here. Right, let's see if Pippa will take it. She's the cow. Here. Take the egg. Take the egg. <laughs> Take the egg. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Why does that make you? Because it's soaking wet. <laughs> All right, take the egg, Peppa. Put it in your mouth. Shaggy's losing his crap. Get it. There he. Oh, he was gonna take it. Get the egg. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. <gasps> he got it. He got it! Oh! Here, Shaggy, look! Here. Shaggy, look! We're gonna let Peppa get it. Peppa's got the egg! Shaggy, look! Come get the egg! Get it! Oh! He's, he's got it! He's got it! What are you gonna do with it? Take the egg, Shaggy! Go hide it! I know. Cracked and he just walked all, all over. All right, Shaggy, you did. <laughs> you oh, yeah. Not on my rug. Do it over here. <laughs> oh, oh. Drop it. Good boy. <laughs> He cracked it. He cracked it. So we 
kind of got Shaggy to do the challenge out of all of our dogs. He was the only one that could really fit it in his mouth. And the only reason why he finally did it was because he was jealous that the other dogs were going to get the egg instead of him. So he grabbed it and he ran. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Come on, Sasser. You can do it. Oh, <laughs> she almost swell again. All right, so how did your day go, Chase? Oh, not good. Not good? Nope. What was today? Regionals. Individuals? Yep. And? I lost. You win, you go to states? Twice. You lost twice. So you had to enter, or you had to finish in top four to go to states in two weeks. And Chase was eliminated. Only freshman and bright. Oh, really? Out of everybody? It was last week, too. That's pretty cool. Only freshman. Where the kids you wrestled, what, sophomores? Juniors? Uh, senior, junior. Yep. So, yep. what were the final scores on both of the matches? The kid who is ranked in the state, I lost 9-4. to 9-5. <coughs> oh, 9-5. All right. Okay. And then... I don't even know what the score of the other match was. Three. Eleven. No, I had more than three. So you didn't get pinned though, right? That's pretty good. Did you put good put a little Why are you looking at me like that? When getting not, when not getting pinned is now an accomplishment. I'm just saying though. I mean, you could have got pinned in like two seconds. That would have been even worse. Well, no, really. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to look at the bright side of things. I could have also lost by. Could have lost twenty-one to nothing too. <laughs> yeah. Could have lost. Could have lost 11 to 4 instead of 11 to 3. It wouldn't even matter. Did you know that? Well, now what? At least I didn't lose 11 to 2. <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo. That's funny. So now what's the hap going to happen for wrestling? Oh. You just get to pick out and eat whatever you want? or Going back to my way. <laughs> going back to. stay under 15. Why? Oh, you're gonna do one fifth, one twelve for my way. Well, no, it's one fifteen. Oh, one fifteen. I right, can cut down to one ten. No, you didn't. I could. Your dad said you just chowed today. Seven. You'd have to go seven. <clears throat> did you lick in his leg? Yeah. Shaggy, did you get egg on your leg? Look at him. He's like, who's saying my name? I know. I heard somebody. Who was it? <laughs> He's not dead. Shaggy. You can't do the center splits all the way, can you? Almost. Almost? But I'm not stretching. I've been stretching. Ow! No, that hurts. <laughs> I've been stretching. I could never, in all my years of dance and gymnastics, I could never do the splits in any direction. Really? I was you never... Know, like, my left is so bad. Yeah, mine was really? too. This is probably the part I was <laughs> Actually, oh, that's about it. My left was bad too, but I couldn't even get close. So that's going to be it for our video today, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And question of the day is how flexible are you on like a scale of 1 to 10? When I was Carly's age, I was probably like a 6. No. What, what are you? You just said you couldn't do any splits. But I could dance and, and do fun. tumbling and stuff. That's a I could do back tucks, back handsprings. That's not flexibility. Yeah, it is. You have to be flexible to be able to do like no. back bends and flip flops and. Yeah, your back was flexible. Well, that's what I was saying. So. Okay, well, that's like a two. Are you gonna argue with it's me about four. my flexibility? It's a four. Are you arguing with yes. me? <laughs> and what's your flexibility, Carl? Seven. Okay. Or eight. <laughs> so comment below if you can do the splits and what your flexibility number is. 10 is being the most flexible ever. Like you can put your leg over your neck. Could you ever do that? I, I could almost do that. All right, see you guys tomorrow.